All right, folks. Well, you know, first and foremost, I want to thank everyone for coming out here. I, uh, my talk, ironically, <laughs> is on what it takes to be an entrepreneur. And one of the things you learn is that a lot more things when you're an entrepreneur, especially as Autumn mentioned, this is our second one. So thank you all of you for coming out and supporting. And especially thank you all the speakers for coming out and supporting for the second one. Um, we could not do this without you. But you realize everything that can go wrong <laughs> does. And being an entrepreneur and what it takes is, is kind of this, this way of just, you keep plowing ahead. You know, for example, we never in our wildest dreams thought parking was going to be an issue. And yet, you know, we, we're hearing that people are, are struggling and they're coming in late because of that. So again, apologies to everyone. Um, and we never for, at least I never thought that, um, you know, people would show up fashionably late. So again, lessons learned and apologies to everyone for starting late, including the speakers. Um, but thank you again for your support. So what does it mean to be a successful entrepreneur? Uh, I think number one, <laughs> you have to be a little, if not a lot, completely crazy because it's not an easy road that we go down. And we will stumble and we will fall, but it's at the end of the day, it's not the fall that matters, it's what you do after the fall that counts. Um, you realize money doesn't matter. And that sounds like a little bit of a, a very brash statement, but it really isn't about the money. I think everyone who you will get to know today, um, who are phenomenal minds and people that I am so honored and humbled uh, who joined us today, um, they do this for the love. And they do this for, for what their craft is and their dedication to bringing that forward into the universe, even if nobody around really ex even embraces it. There, there's this need to keep on doing what they do because they love it. Um, you start to realize the space and time continuum doesn't exist, which is ironic, especially considering what's going on right now. But it's really, you don't clock in, you don't clock out. There is no start, there is no end. You're always on, you're always going. It's 24 seven, it's, it never stops. You know, one of our good speakers, Mark Hamadi, who I, I, I now call a friend, got in late on a plane and has not slept with lost luggage, but is here. That is exactly what an entrepreneur, in my opinion, is. You just keep going, you never say quit. You keep doing, even when everything else goes wrong. And you're not in it to test the waters. You're in it to make waves. That's what this is about. Otherwise, we'd be nine to fivers, clocking in, clocking out, being told that we're not doing our job and getting our 3% raise. That's not what this is. We keep going, even when the storms come. Because at the end of the day, the buck stops with us. We're accountable. We're responsible. Things go right, things go wrong. Normally, when things go right, other people take credit. When things go wrong, it's your fault but it is what it is. We give with no real expectation of return. At the last SoCal Digital Symposium that was in Ventura, Mike Panassas was our keynote, and he got up and he did this wonderful, wonderful speech about what is an entrepreneur, and something stuck out with me, and he said, a real entrepreneur gives with no real expectation of return. We don't do this to get a return. If it comes, woohoo! But we keep doing, we keep pushing, we keep testing the waters and making waves. And so as we continually strive, I'm reminded of two quotes. Those who know me know that I'm constantly posting quotes on Facebook and LinkedIn. And the two quotes that as I was thinking about what I was gonna say that stood out were, were one, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Aristotle said that. And the other one, especially because we're in LA, is one by John Wooden. And he said, talent is God-given, be humble. Fame is man-given, be grateful. Conceit is self-given, be careful. Woohoo! So I think about, you know, what are the habits of successful people? And, you know, we have amazing people here sitting here that we can pick their brains and ask them. But off the top of my head, we learn, we improve, we read every day. 
but there's a hunger for knowledge to be better, to be more than we are right now. We compliment others. We support others. We write down goals and targets. We think long term, even though sometimes it doesn't seem that way. We forgive others. We exude joy. We talk about ideas. We embrace change. We accept responsibility for failure when things don't go right. We want others to succeed. We compliment others. And we learn from our mistakes and we track progress. That's what makes a person successful. And what are your chances of success? You start with, I did, 100%. I am, 90%. I can, 80%. I think I can, keeps going down. I might. You get into the negative, it doesn't happen. So I question everything, just me personally. Ada and I have a really cool working relationship. We actually joke around that we're each other's wives. Um, but, you know, we... Well, we're fake, les we're fake lesbian wives, but she cooks for me, I fix her car. It's awesome, it's awesome. It's, do you want me to fix your car too? Maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we question everything. We're curious, we're excited, we're passionate. Even if it's two people in a room, we're asking, we're bouncing ideas off of each other. And this is what the SoCal Digital Symposium is about. You know, on my journey, because we're all, first and foremost, what? No, it's all right, he hasn't slept, and I'm just happy he showed up in pants, so. <laughs> but on my journey, and we're all on this journey, right? That is first life, first and foremost. Who we are, not what we do. Who we are as people, as human beings. And I asked myself, I said, what do I want to be? What do I want to be? I wrote down five things that I'm going to share with you today. I want to be selfless. I want to be kind. I want to be just. I want to be brave, and I want to be intelligent. That's what I want to be. So when I think of the why of the SoCal Digital Symposium, it's because together we are stronger. As a community, we are stronger together. Why? Because knowledge should be shared. That's what I believe. Maybe it's naive, maybe it's idealistic, but knowledge should be shared. Everyone here gave, we were given a break by someone. Someone took a chance on me, which is why I was able to develop and grow. There's a gentleman actually sitting right there, Jack Wilson, who I worked with. I call Uncle Jack. He can tell you. He met me when I was a snot-nosed punk. I, th I think I've grown a little. I think. Okay. We pay it forward. That's what this is about. We pay it forward. And we innovate and we inspire as we do that. There's enough for everybody. Now, this is foreign to a lot of people in LA, because there's a lot of, especially in this crazy e economic environment, there's a lot of me, 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 I, I, I. There's more than enough for everybody. And if we come together as a whole and help each other, we help each other's success. And in doing so, we succeed. Again, maybe naive, but that's just me. And we're committed to a better future. That's, that's what this is about. It's the second one, I get it. It's the second one. Lots of stuff has gone wrong today. But I'm committed to everyone who's sitting on this panel. I'm committed to everyone in this room that we are building something better, one step at a time, even if we falter. And so one of the things, actually, we're really proud of that we're launching, we haven't got our arms around it yet, is U-Turn. And U-Turn is going to be the nonprofit arm of the SDS, and its job so it's an, it's a, it's a, it means, basically, ushering teens in technology re-education now. And as of today, it is a fund. So whatever money we make, we take a percentage and we put it towards a fund that will educate teenagers, primarily girls, sorry, I love the men in the room, but primarily women, because tech is a very male-dominated industry, to get them into technology and give them access and give them the training that they need. So coming back to what it takes to make it and what I've just talked about in this community and this coming together and, and, and soldiering on and, and believing in it, I have to call out two gentlemen. Well, you can beat them up on the playground afterwards during recess, but 
there are two gentlemen that I, I had lunch with, dinner, I can't remember, it kind of blended, um, in Santa Monica, who asked me, why are you doing this? It's absolutely batshit crazy. Why are you doing this? And I said, because I believe in the community. I believe in us as a whole. And they embraced it, and they circled around me and Ada, and they pushed, and they pulled, and they dragged people kicking and screaming here. And that is Mark Hamadi and Lloyd Marino, hands down. Two of the gen, absolutely, <laughs> who have gone above and beyond what was asked of them in really fostering the mission of what this is. So part of what I do is I read about and commiserate with other entrepreneurs. And one of the things that stuck out with me in a blog I read was the, <laughs> this gentleman who said, you learn to respect the duck. And I said, I have no idea what that means. And I read further and it said, because it's cool and calm above water and paddling like hell underneath. And I was like, yes, that's what we do. And so something that we're starting as that I would like to continue and do every year for the SDS is what we call the Respect the Duck Award. Ada was the first one, and she got a little Skorkovsky crystal duck because last year chaos and anarchy was happening behind the scenes and she just jumped in and took control and made it happen and was driving out to Camarillo and, and so she got that one. But this year goes to Mark and Lloyd because they have been absolutely phenomenal and a Respect the Duck Award comes with a duck. So, two wooden duck phones. Duck phones, yes. They work. They quack when they ring. That's right. And they weren't easy to find. So gentlemen, I cannot thank you enough for your support and your friendship. And duck phones. Come on up, why not, let's go. I can't plug it in and make it work now, but you can do that later. Come on up, come on up. Thank you very much. I could not have done it without any of you. You're welcome.